Welcome back everybody to another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode episode. Today I head off to Martinsville and Phoenix. This probably will be a little bit shorter of an episode. However, we need a top five at Martinsville to stay on track for four top fives and four races. Also, if we get that top five, there's a good chance that we can upgrade the aero department, giving us a fully maxed out um, truck for the championship race at Phoenix. So let's get everyone prepared here. We want to get this as maxed out as possible this week already. And then we'll sign the other people to the other vehicles. Start the work here. And let me jump in and do qualifying. We haven't even gotten to the race now, I did stupid. Um, I advanced through the menus too quickly and chose the short track truck here. Um, All right, this so we're going to have a bad truck for Phoenix, which is not ideal. I really wanted to win the championship, but it's not likely to happen anymore. Concerned, we needed a good truck for that race, and we're not going to have it anymore. Put, I got pole at Martinsville. Well, um, alrighty, we'll just have to go with it. Nothing I can. I noticed as soon as I picked it, but there's nothing I can do. Um. To change it, I looked as soon as I did it, see if there's anything I could do, and there is not. So, just going to, have to carry on here, do the best that we can, not overdrive the corners, and pay attention to the tire wear, not overdrive the truck. Good thing about Martinsville is as long as I don't make too big a miss of a mistake, I can just park it in the corners and not let anybody buy really. And actually I seem to be pulling away a little bit here, so good news there. So, yeah, we're going to have a really bad truck, I think, for, I mean, compared to what we usually have anymore at Phoenix, because um, I'm not sure whether the short track truck is going to be better to take there or if it's going to be um, the um, speedway truck either way I'm not sure that I want to be able to contend for a top five um, I mean at best I get away with um, about a 90 overall truck and that's at best I think um, because even with smooth driving here I can only get um, I think 80 max on the um, engine and suspension departments so that just makes it really difficult 
to be able to upgrade. I mean, I can, assuming that, I can only get up to a 92 on each of those and less so on the arrow. So it's just not going to be um, the best truck, which is what I really wanted for going to Phoenix, but it's just not going to happen this season. We'll have a good chat next season. Um, definitely going to be purchasing a second um, short track truck but in the current moment um, it's just going to be a struggle for the next race Martinsville be having that pole position to start the race is actually really helping me here so far I'm just able to run clean up at the front and so let's see here nobody's pitting can't make it to the end of the race yet so why won't you and hopefully we're going to repeat Now we are going for All right, you're clear. start to fight some tire wear this stage, I think. But I think as long as I run well and the early going, that won't be too much of a problem. So we just gotta stay consistent. That's our only job here. Really to walk away with as much money as possible. Um, from the race. So we can try to do things like upgrade the aero department. Upgrade um, any of the employees so we can try to get the best truck um, that we can for Phoenix to compete for that championship but um, I don't think I'm in too much danger here um, in this race we'll have to see how everything turns out but I mean I'm driving well tire wire looks pretty good we're pulling away from the trucks behind us so I'm not really worried about this race at the current time it's just the next race and how that's all going to go is what I'm really worried about so don't hit the wall thank you I know it just cost me a whole bunch of time but the if I cannot make any contact with anybody in this race that's going to be ideal so we can try to save um, as much of those developments on the truck as possible. Okay, may need to try to go up on the wedge. Truck is getting a little bit loose under braking, but that could be due to the little slide um, that we had. Please don't hit me. Okay, so the tires are a bit iffy at the end of a long run. I said don't hit me. Um, let's find a 
we'll be able to make a spot on pit road. We'll still have a front or a starting spot, but still. Um, keeping it off that wall successfully kind of hurt me there. Um, yes, we are pitting. Um, we're going to go up one click on the wedge, try to save the right rear just a little bit. Um, everything else looks good. Let's accept that. There we are, right back to the lead. And twenty three laps to go. So we're going to end up with about the same amount of laps on our tires in this stage as we did with the other two stages combined. Um, so that just kind of gives me an idea of what we're going to be dealing with at the end of the race. As long as everything keeps working out how it was in that first stage. It's taking me a bit longer at the moment to pull away, but I do think we're getting there. Just need to drive smooth. Trying to be easy on the brakes. Not. Nah. Um, burn up those tires. That's very easy to do with this game. Is a is to slide those tires. Um, so really taking my time. Trying to preserve the tires for late in the race. Which really isn't allowing me to um, pull away as much. But I do think it will eventually pay off. So I'd oh, driven that corner just a little bit. Not necessarily overdriven it, but went into it a bit more aggressively than I would have liked. And you can kind of see that with how, with the amount of time that I'd made up on those trucks behind. Um, that was more my normal line type thing. I'm able to get into three and four a lot easier than one and two, it seems. Just run nice and consistent. The right front's actually wearing a little bit faster than the right rear. But that's fine because I know it's going to end up taking a loose snap as we go through the run. So I'd rather the right front be a little bit more worn than the right rear. And really they're about dead even in terms of wear. That was right about what well, a qualifying lap was. I'm not even pushing it that hard, so. That is good news there. Let's keep moving. We're likely to hit some lap traffic here still. Um, so just have to be careful managing lap while also staying consistent. May need to look at working that outside a little bit when we get to that point. But for the moment, just keeping it consistent. Tag the wall there just a little bit. Um, having to wait on the throttle just a little bit more than we were. Um, 
Just as tires start to wear. Because they are. We're down to 80% on the right sides. Halfway through the stage. It's being nice and easy, especially around these lap cars. Being a little bit more aggressive around them, but not too much. Just trying to um, get through them nice and smoothly. But also maintaining that gap so the car is behind. The trucks behind, rather. All right, you're clear. Careful, still there. Eight laps to go. I'm going to guess there's a caution at some point that I would not like to see personally, but it's probably in there in the card some way. Surprise, Roach that hit me. But all good. Okay, we're starting to get loose on entry again. Just make sure we keep it nice and smooth. There's a caution that I was expecting. Hopefully we've saved the tires enough. I mean, I feel like I did a pretty good job saving the tires. We should directly have the Be ready here. Um, freshest set of tires, really. Um, with me saving like I was. We've got three laps. Okay, so got to be careful on corner exit. Heard, heard. Nice and easy into the throttle, nice and easy off the throttle. Just keep running the same laps as we were. Nice and easy into the throttle. A little loose on the entry there. Wait for the Truck to turn back into the throttle. Inside. All clear. I dive there, get the drive off, and we are going to have the win here at Barnesville. That's a pretty good win there. 105 speed rating. We will burn it down. Thank you very much. Do a victory lap here. And it just wants to burn the tires down. Alrighty. Good enough there. And now let's advance to the main menu, see what we can do at Phoenix, though my hopes are not too high at this point. Advancing to the championship round, $43,000 added to the bank, and smooth driving, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, just compliment everybody because I don't want any more rivals, come on, there we go, and now, to 
to see what I can do here. So, oh, also for the season standings, it's going to be between ourselves, Grant and Finger, Matt Crafton, and Ross Chastain. So, very, very competitive field here. Um, so, let's upgrade the arrow department. Let's do that first. Then, let's go to here. Okay, that's with all the best people on that. What if I... Train some people... Nope. I can get we go that. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. And it's going to be very close. Let's see what happens here. Um, okay, there we go. Accept. Which is going to be better? The short. Wow, that's a huge mismatch. That's advantage. Okay, we're going to take the 91, 89, 89 to Phoenix. We jump into qualifying. Go, go, go. So keeping in mind that this is a gold time for a top five. My goal is to be within, um, I'm going to be saying seven tenths of the goal time. So 27, six would be most ideal. Do I think that's going to happen? Probably not. Do I think we have to play some strategy to try to win here? I definitely do. Um, however, we'll have to see what we can do. It's just going to be a long, hard race. I know that for a fact. 24, 25, 26, 27, uh, to 28. Puts me in 20th, so not terrible. We may be able to make that work. Let's see where uh, Crafton's on pole, which is not good. Um, and fingers in seventh. Where's Ross Chastain? Ross Chastain is in fifteenth. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on what they're doing all race long. Starting in eighteenth. I see Chastain right there up in front of us. Uh, Matt Crafton is up at the front. Come on, let me get to the bottom, please. Line. Or not. Hold your line. Got one inside. Okay, there's Got still someone inside. to our inside. I have not gained any positions there. Got one inside. And Oh, and we are getting trained as well, which is not good at all. Still there. Yeah, definitely going to have to play some strategy somewhere in order to make this work. Tire wear looks oh, even for right oh. now. Let's cut the dog leg. See if that helps me out any. Mm, kind of. Hold your line. Got sort of. Probably not really. I'm good off of one and two. That's where I'm making up the majority of my time is I'm able to get a good run Still off there. of one and two. Maybe we'll pick up the throttle sooner and get the run. Careful. Still there. Outside, outside. 
however, hopefully the pit crew can help put me in a better spot Still there. at the end of the stage, because there's no way I'm making up enough spots on my own. I need track position badly, Still there. unfortunately, with this track, so... I also need to go way up on the wedge, even though I don't want to, because the right rear is dying. I was turning left. And we are super slow now. We've still got five to go on the stage. We're only halfway outside, through the outside. stage. Oh, this is not going to be a happy ending. You're all clear up top. Hold your line. Not at all. That's a rival. Not only are we not going to get the extra money. We're not going to win the championship either. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, thanks. Um, I don't know what to do here. I mean, there's. There's not much that I can do. It's just a stupid mistake on my part. Um, yeah, we're just continuing to fall back. I need an adjustment to the wedge. It almost seems like um, the wedge is all the way up at this track, though. I can't. Uh, I can't adjust it up anymore, so I just have to stay this loose. That's really what it seems like happens at this track. Well, this is not good. I'm in dead last. And the race where I'm supposed to be fine for a championship. Isn't that just great? And there's no way we can make it a full fuel run on the tires, how they're wearing right now. Okay, we can go up on the wedge. Good. Uh, I'm going to go six clicks here. Yep. Let's advance. I only gain two spots. Oh, the pickers blowing me down. to the bottom or not okay if we get caution in the middle of the stage I've got to try something got one down low now. to make this work I've got to be able to get up to the front and try to cause some chaos somehow get out of my way yeah that's right like I said we're trying something just to get off strategy. I know it's not going to get as much off strategy. But it's worth a try. Inside. I'll spin you again. Just 
still just got nothing. You're all clear up top. Three laps to go into stage. Car outside, hold your line. Careful, still there. Okay. 25th, 26th. Careful, still there. Clear high, clear high. Car outside. I just gotta Not try to take advantage of fresh tires. To really. Try and make up some ground that way. Um, the only thing is, I cannot tell on the short run how the tires are going to really wear. So, it's going to be a bit of a guess here. Um, what I'm going to need to do in terms of the wedge. How long we got? This is the last lap of the stage. Oh yeah, it's going to be a guessing game. Lovely. Um, okay, my other option. Oh, we're going to be pulling some goofy strategy here. Trying to make up some spots. But we're, we've got to try it here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pit we're going to go half a can on fuel we're going to go right side only and we're going to go up on the wedge some more we're going to accept that how did I only gain a position coming to the green driver almost ready I thought that was some wonderful strategy, but apparently not. So now I've just got to resort to dive bombing. I think Ross Chastain's in the lead at the moment. I only see... Okay. Crafton's falling back some. and fingers still up towards the lead. I got pushed wide there. Inside. Let me go. Inside. Hold your line. Not one inside. Clear low. It's impossible. This outside, outside. You're all clear of top. Track is so hard to race around as well. I'm not even sure why it's considered a short track. It's really not. It's more of an intermediate track than anything, but. Um, the only thing that really makes it a short track is the fact that it's got. Um, flat banking in the corners. It's a very flat track in general. The most banking doesn't actually even happen in the corner. So, ten laps to go. I'm already fading back. I would need a caution at the end of the race. Actually, I need a caution like. Um, I don't even know when. Got a car high now. Clear high, bud. Yellow flag. There's a caution. Okay. Again, we're going to go off strategy. Get tires, get fuel. We're going green. Be ready here. Green there green are a few. Drivers that did the same strategy. However, none of them are the playoff contenders. Six laps to go. Unless there's another caution, this doesn't do anything 
for me in all reality, though. Stay on the bottom. Actually, we'd probably need like two more cautions Five more laps. to extend the race by multiple laps. Stay low, stay in which low. case, the leaders might need fuel. Hold your line. Got one outside. But that would have to be a lot of cautions in order to make that happen. Um, currently, fresh tires are not doing much for me. All right, you're clear. Actually, Brett Moffat's leading. Looks like End Fingers in second. Ross Chastain, somewhere up in that mix. Um, Crafton has fallen back to about 12th or 13th, looks like. See, 20th, 19th, 18th, 17th, 16th, 15th, 14th, 13th. That's where Crafton is. Uh, Chastain's few positions in front of him, I believe. Or is that? No, that's Boyd. Car high. Careful. Two laps to go. I need the caution really to happen this lap. Car Would be ideal. Hey. Well, we got the caution. Um, four laps remaining. We are not pitting. No one else does. We're just trying stuff out. I don't think we're going to be able to make our way up to the front. Or even to hold the front if we can make our way up there. But, um, we'll see what we can do here. We've got to bring out the caution again before the start finish line. Which means down this straightaway. Thank you. Don't get me involved. We got involved a little bit. This is the most unethical way to win a championship. But we're trying it. But it's not working. Two laps to go again. Still there. Outside, outside. Are they on your outside? Uh, won't turn. I've got no way to turn. Still there. Yep, ain't happening. Who is going to win it? I think it's going to be Enfinger who wins the championship here, but not the race. According to the track map. So, I guess I have to settle for a where are we going to finish? 22nd? 21st? Uh, 22nd. Uh, just not what we wanted. Bring it back to my menu and we'll figure out what we're doing for next season. Game glitch, I did not win the championship. Grant and Finger won the championship. Um, so no idea why it said that. But no, I shouldn't even, shouldn't have even gotten that. Did not get the incentive contract. I did not win the why are all the NASCAR games so buggy? I did not win the championship. Alright now guys. Um
let me know if you'd like me to skip or participate in the Shin Dirt Tour. We've got the Truck Series, which are definitely still competing in. Um, so we got one championship there. Now we're going to say participate in all the Xfinity Series. See what our options are to join a team. We can do three star ride, which I'd like to try to avoid. I like to try to stay competitive. A four star ride with either SS Greenlight Racing or DGM Racing. Either of those would work. I'd like to try to avoid going to a five star ride right away. But if that's what you guys want, we can join a five star ride as well. Um, then we're not starting our own team this season for sure. So yeah, let me know between DGM Racing and SS Greenlight Racing. Um, same makeup car, same payout for race. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, truck Racing will keep doing what we have been doing in terms of all that. But um, hope you enjoyed the episode today. And I think we could have competed for the championship had I not made that stupid mistake. But but apparently the game thinks I won it anyways. But hope you enjoyed the episode today, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.